So it, but it, what it does tell you is that we don't know why or, or how the universe got into the state that we call the Big Bang. So we don't, we don't know whether the universe existed before that. We have theories that it did, theories called inflation, which are very popular theories. You'll find them in all the textbooks, which say that before the universe was hot and dense, which we used to call the Big Bang, space and time is still there and the universe is expanding extremely fast. It's called, it's called inflation. And then that period draws to a close. And that expansion sort of slows down and almost collapses and changes. And the energy that was driving the expansion gets sort of dumped into space and changes and ultimately makes the particles out of which we are made. So that, that's, that's actually the standard model of cosmology now. So, so we do have an idea that we, we, we redefine the Big Bang as the hot Big Bang, and it's not the origin of the universe in time. It's the end of inflation. Oh, and and then you get the question, what is inflation? There, what, did, did that have a beginning? And the answer is that in Einstein's theory alone, then yes. And Roger Penrose actually and Stephen Hawking proved this a long time ago, that just given Einstein's theory, you have this singularity, just like kind of like the black hole singularity, but at the beginning of time.